45-15. Miami Dolphins come through, get to 9-3, and three, stay well ahead of the Buffalo Bills and the AFC East. Uh, just an all-out good showing on offense. I thought Tua was absolutely on point. And what have we been doing? We've been worried about, and, and, and rightfully so, because what we've seen the past several years was, you know, this team, this quarterback struggle when, you know, the weather got tough, when we got into December. But look where we are now. First game of December, a rainy, wet day. You can see it behind me here in Newark, New Jersey. Same thing in D.C., not far from here. Uh, rainy, foggy, you know, not real cold, but a little chilly out. And the game starts, and guys are slipping a little bit, and you're wondering, hey, what's going on? You know, are we gonna? Be, how are we gonna be this December? Uh, but Mostert comes out and plays well. Tua, I thought his pocket awareness, his precision with the ball, the two strikes to Tyreek are one thing, and Tyreek Hill two touchdowns, plenty of yards, get him closer to that 2,000 yard mark that he's striving for. Uh, I'll get the final stats and everything later. Uh, remember, tune in on Tuesday at 7 for that. And guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, click subscribe. It takes a second. Hit subscribe right there. Help us get to 1,500. Let's get there. Let's grow this channel. This is Fury Fam in the building. Hit subscribe right now. But um, Tua looked great in the pocket. Great at finding open looks. There was even a drop from Waddle where I thought Tua did an excellent job of locating a guy down the field for a first down. Uh, just excellent all around. It was good to see A-Chan back. I got a little nervous towards the end. Like, hey, McDaniel, pull him out. Let's not leave him in there too long to, to maybe get hurt again. Uh, but A-Chan looked good. It's nice to have that 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 uh, group back. A little bit troubling on the injuries, though, man. It's hard to be in a great mood even with the 45 uh, to 15 win. When you lose a guy like Jerome Baker, I understand people aren't always high on him. But look, he calls... A lot of the makes a lot of the calls, and he's like that little bit of a linebacker quarterback in that Vic Fangio scheme. And if he's out for an extended period of time, it's just going to hurt us again. You know, it sucks going through these games where we win the game, it's against opponents we should beat, you know, and we lose guys for extended periods of time who are integral parts of our team. It's just tough to overcome. Down the stretch, we're really going to need these guys. So it's tough to lose these guys, uh, and you never want to see it. Um, Again, you know, Robert Hunt, who finally came back this week from this uh, hamstring injury. He goes back out again on this another hamstring injury. You hope it's precautionary. Teron Armstead, who already has a bunch of leg issues. Now his ankle's bothering him. You know, just, just tough. And Kendall Lamb is already banged up. So you saw them finish the game. They were on the sideline. They had their helmets off, but they were on the sideline. They were in uniform. They weren't in the locker room, either linemen. So you hope that the two linemen are going to be back. Knowing how Mike McDaniel has done things so far this year, you think and expect that they won't play for Monday night, but you never know how things go this week. We'll have to keep an eye on that. But just tough injury looking for Jerome Baker. And, you know, uh, if Brandon Jones didn't really have to do that. You know, I mean, who cares if they score? They scored anyway. I understand you're, you're going all out. It's, it's a bang-bang play. You, you can't make those decisions on the fly, but it's just unfortunate because it's on the one-yard line. You go for the ankles, and you take out your own guy. I, it's hard for me to, to be celebratory with that injury looming. You know, let's hope that we don't lose another key starter for the whole season. I, I don't know how it's going to go, though. Um, but look... You get out ahead now. We're, we're nine and three, so we're three full games ahead of the Buffalo Bills coming out of their bye week. It's completely in our hands now. It's completely in our hands. We would have to lose, you know, several games down the stretch, and the Bills would have to win out, you know, for us to lose the division. I'm not counting my chickens before they hatch. I never do. I never will. Not with this team. Not with being a fan of this team for as long as I have. Um, but that being said, you know, uh, it, it feels good to be in the position that we're in. It feels nice. And it's a good thing. So I'm hyped about that. You should be hyped about that. Enjoy this victory Sunday. Uh, I'll have many more stats when we have the show. 7 p.m. live every Tuesday. Come join us. Come call us up and talk to us. Uh, and, let, and let's talk about it. But um, overall, you know, I thought it was another, you know, good showing. The defense is playing well. The offense is playing well. Now, look, it's Washington. It is what it is. But it's still a road game in December. So, you know... Step one of playing good December football taken care of. And let's hope we can continue to take care of it here as we try to keep going and as we try to get where we want to go, which is a long run in the playoffs. Let's hope we can get there, guys. Let's hope we can do it.
Um, but it's nice to see us healthy. It's nice to see Tyreek look like he was healthy. Waddle got some good reps, and it's just it's great to see Tua playing at that level in December, especially after he's had some picks. He's had a little rust. I thought there was a questionable pass down the stretch in the fourth quarter to Waddle that was could have been picked off, but that was you know kind of garbage time. It is what it is. Uh, but how about AVG, by the way? Andrew Van Ginkle uh, filling in for Jalen Phillips had a game. Had a game. Getting pressures, getting sacks. You know, the pick six, which, you know, he's going in for the pressure, but he studies his film. He recognizes he's going to throw it right here, jumps up, snatches the ball out of the air, goes in for a pick six, really part of what started to blow the game wide open. That bodes well for us. Andrew Van Ginkle is a player. Uh, Agba with a sack, so it's nice that we've kept depth on this team. You want to see that. Uh, That's why we kept depth on this team. It's very important going forward. So, um... Let's just continue to play December ball. Let's enjoy this victory. Let's see what the injury news is with the two linemen. And, you know, with Baker, that's why I said you can't get too hyped up about uh, injuries, you know, getting guys back because there's always going to be other injuries coming forward. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, We got to hope we stay healthy on the injury front. McDaniel has tried to manage that as best as he could all year. Uh, let's hope that continues to be the case. We got a big Monday night game against Tennessee. We should beat them again, but I never count my chickens. Let's just focus on Tennessee. Let's stay out ahead of the Bills, and let's continue to roll here, man. Fins up. And if you haven't done so, I'm reminding you guys one more time, hit subscribe right here. Let's get us to 1,500. We'll have much more analysis and much more of a breakdown, talking about stats and other numbers Tuesday at 7. I may even hop on with you guys tomorrow. We'll see. But enjoy the victory. And enjoy the fact that, you know, for the first December in a while, we actually took care of business and we are 9-3 and three for the first time in like two decades. It's a good feeling. It's a great feeling. Uh, and what's most encouraging is seeing that defense continue to play, seeing that depth step up when, when Jalen Phillips goes out, seeing complimentary football from all angles. You know, you even had Sanders hit a longer field goal again. That's nice. And seeing that quarterback and coach tandem call a good game, And seeing Tua be precision, you know, precision, just passing with precision, uh, great pocket awareness, looking sharp, on the road, in crappy weather, that's great news. One down, several more to go. Let's continue working. Happy holidays, everybody. Smash, subscribe, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Got some really good games on. Enjoy all of them, man. Fins up. Larry K out.